Hello everyone, welcome to Wheels on the Bike. I'm Agnieszka and this, this is a channel about bicycle touring and bicycle commuting. I am currently on a seven day self-supported solo bicycle tour and I thought I would give you an overview of what I packed for my seven days of touring. Now I am cycling for six days with a day's worth of rest. I am camping most of the way and uh, here is what my bike currently looks like. I'm going to go ahead and go through each bag to give you an idea of what I took to prep for this tour. So if you're interested in this type of content, then keep watching. On my bike, I currently have four panniers, 25 liter panniers at the front and 35 liter at the back. I also have a handlebar bag and a trunk bag and two snack bags right at the front here. I'll close this one. In my front bags, I carry my kitchen and kitchen supplies. So I have a small stove and I do carry freeze dried food. In the rear panniers, I carry my sleep system, including my tent, as well as some of my clothing. And in the trunk bag, I carry my bicycle maintenance and repair kit, as well as some electronics. I'll go ahead and show you what's in my trunk bag first. First things first, I do have a few items attached using volley straps to the top of the bag and that is my security cable or part of it and my sandals. In the bag itself, I carry a bicycle repair and maintenance kit as well as some of my electronics. Some not all because I do carry some other electronics in my handlebar bag. So basically, this is what it looks like. Here's my electronics pouch. Here's my massage ball. Here's my charger. I carry my maintenance tools here. I have my lock and I have my cables. And the last thing I carry here is my bicycle pump. Let's move on to the rear panniers next. In this pannier, this is a 17 and a half liter pannier and it's part of a 35 liter system. And if you haven't yet seen my video review of these Arkel 35 liter panniers, I will link it in the description below. First things first, I have some paper to, as a wood, as a fire starter. Wet clothing, because I did laundry this morning. Um, in this bag, I have some longer items, including tent poles, water bottle that I will use as um, if I need to filter water. I also have my camping chair. I have a pillow that I have um, wrapped a t-shirt around. I have the bulk of my clothing. So this is, this is a bag of my camp clothing as well as my cycling clothing. I have the best item ever. It's, it's a Sea to Summit kitchen sink, um, and I use this to do dishes. I use this for laundry, and I also use this for washing up. And I also have a first aid kit. And that's everything that fits in, in my 17 and a half liter penny. Okay, on to the second one. I did forget to mention that I also put uh, a Manfrotto tripod in, in that first penny, but the camera is currently mounted on that. Okay, so what is inside my second penny? This, this is my sleeping system and my tent is here. Um, so in here I have, it's a thermal insert that goes inside my sleeping bag and makes it a lot warmer. I have my tent. I have a little light for, my, for inside of my tent. I have a ground sheet. I do have a great sleeping pad or sleeping mat rather. And right at the bottom of my, uh, of this pannier is my sleeping bag. Oh, I have one more thing and that is an extra tarp or that I can also use as, a, as an extra ground sheet for outside of the tent or inside of the tent as needed. And look what else I found here, Ricola, which 
I like to munch on as candy. Okay, so let's move on to the front panniers and see what's in them. As previously mentioned, my front panniers are designated for food, so I call them my kitchen. So let's look at them now. My two front panniers are also part of the Arkel system, but they are 25 liter panniers. All right, what do I have? Oh, a surprise from my bicycle. We'll see where I got that from. Okay, I have some snacks, which I'll be munching on a little bit later on. Uh, I think this, this, this typically has my towel in it, but the towel is elsewhere. I have a little uh, kitchen kit from GSI Outdoors. Mm, a pump sack to uh, inflate my mattress. And then in here I have a whole, a whole lot of uh, freeze-dried food, including this whole milk powder that I add to my coffee in the morning. I have some tortillas, beet tortillas, love them. Uh, what else? Rolled oats. And a number of these um, Happy Yak food, freeze-dried food pouches. So I won't go through all of them, but I do have them and I find them tasty. Something else I keep in this, in this front pannier is my my cup. I also have a little bowl in here as well with, <laughs> with uh, paper towels that come in very handy, so I always have extras. I also have my Trangia stove in here and honey to keep things sweet. Let's move on to the next bag. In this pannier, I have a few more kitchen items. Oop, I lied. My toiletries bag, yeah, it's big, but you know, I'm a woman. <laughs> I do carry a knife that I use for a variety of purposes. I do have a secondary clothing bag, and in this bag, I carry my waterproof um, items, including a swimsuit. All right, uh, coffee, vitamins, important. Thermocell mosquito repellent. And I also carry some stove canisters here. And that is all I have in this second front pannier. Second last thing I'd like to share with you is my handlebar bag. So this is an Arkel handlebar bag in size small. And this really is my catch-all bag. So it's a little bit messy inside here, but let's take a look at what's inside. In this front pouch, I have my keys. I have some Clorox wipes. I have hand cream. And I keep my phone here as, as well as my wallet. On the sides, I have, well, I currently have my um, bike computer, Wahoo bike computer. I have a hat, um, a whistle. Sometimes I, I whistle <laughs> just for safety, um, as well as a chapstick. And I have some sunscreen. Now inside this main compartment is a big mess. <laughs> so cables, napkins, this is where I keep my um, Rode microphones. This camera is typically mounted on the front of my bicycle, kind of um, on the rack here, but is currently sitting in my bag. Uh, this is the camera lens cleaning set extra batteries. I use an Insta360 camera for my action recording, so cam so batteries for those. Charger for batteries, a mini little Joby tripod, bear spray because I was riding through bear country, so that was uh, that was important to have. What else do I have in here? A reflective jacket. I also carry a, a poop bag in case I needed to pick up poop. Yeah, poop and scoop. Yeah, I don't have a little, I don't know what it's called, a little shovel to dig a hole, so I would poop and scoop if I needed to. And I also have um, an extra toilet paper roll, just in case. And a light, a front light. So that is all I carry in my handlebar bag. 
Uh, sometimes this bag is heavier than it needs to be, but you know, again, it's a catch-all bag. The last thing I want to show you is what is inside my little snack pouches. And that's, that's exactly what it is. On one side, I have uh, a lot of candy. On the other side, I have some protein bars. So those change depending on where in my journey I am and, and what kind of protein bars and candy I have access to. And those are all the items that I've taken with me for my seven day self-supported solo tour. I'm curious to hear from you. What type of items do you take on while you go on tour? And what type of touring do you do? If you enjoyed this video, give it a like, comment, like, share, subscribe, do all the YouTube things. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.